Good morning, and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto. Today, hosted by my Pink My Melody mug. All right. Um, today I thought I would talk about um what to do about internet right when you get here. Um, and I'm gonna totally recommend Kyushu Wi-Fi. Um, I do not know. Um, how internet's going now with everything with COVID in the KO Plaza Hotel and other hotels that people are quarantining in. However, I do know that every year, whenever you arrive, you're going to have to stay in a hotel and you might have internet, you might not. Um, but you can call ahead and find out the address of the hotel or Google it online. And then you can order yourself a Wi-Fi from Kyushu Wi-Fi. And if you get one of the monthly plans, um, you can keep it for up to a month or more. And then while you're waiting for the first weeks and weeks for internet to get installed in your apartment, it won't matter because you'll have internet. Um, if you don't know what a pocket Wi-Fi is, um, just look it up. I had never seen them before. I originally came to Japan, but I think they're getting more and more popular in multiple countries. Um, but a pocket Wi-Fi is just a little pocket hotspot you carry around with you. Um, and Kyushu Wi-Fi has really, 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 really reasonable rates. And if you have it sent to you to be delivered to your hotel, it will come as a delivery to you at your hotel. It comes with a prepaid envelope. And then when you go to leave, you just pop it back into that envelope and send it back to them. Um, you have to have a credit card to order it. So order it on a credit card. Um, there are a lot of other services that do this too. I will always just recommend, recommend Kyushu Wi-Fi because they've been really good to me and they have really good rates. I've been carrying around a Kyushu Wi-Fi for forever, it seems like. But it's just so wonderful because it is unlimited. If you buy one of their routers that doesn't list the upper um, gig limit, it's functionally unlimited. Um, they'll send you kind of a, hey, um, I think you're using a lot of data if you go over like 100 gigs or something. And I did have one friend who went over like 250 gigs in a month and they were like whoa slow down there slow your roll um so they will uh you know kind of tell you if you're using too much um but for the most part um it's unlimited um it's a great deal and it is nice not having to have a contract um i uh I have a really hard time with contracts because if you don't pay attention to it, then you have to cancel it before it automatically renews. So it's a kind of a minefield. But um, when you don't have a contract, you can just return it whenever you want. You can keep it up to the limit. Um, the one I get is a four to six month. So you basically rent it and then you can keep it. You're, you're paid limit is from four to six months um of course you can return it sooner if you leave the country or if you do anything else but i always keep it until the end and then if the unit itself is in good condition i'll just renew that one but if the battery is dying quickly or one time the battery was swelling um, another time um, the charger plate was getting kind of faulty um, i'll just return it and get a new one and that's the other thing, like when you own your own device and it wears out, but when you just rent one from them, they just send you a new device every time. So I like I can't not express it, especially when you get here and you don't have Wi-Fi. It's such a huge problem. We first came, um, I was taking classes and I had to actually stay up late and do an exam one of the nights when we were in the KO Plaza Hotel. And uh, luckily I was still jet lagged so I could stay up late. 
But um, and we didn't have the, the but the really bad Wi-Fi in the Ko Plaza Hotel, and I kept like disconnecting. And then I when we got to our house, um, we weren't sure if the internet was set up. Shoot, when we got to Nara, when we originally were here, we didn't have internet for like a month, and that was torture. Um, so check on it if you're gonna have internet. Right when you get to your place, maybe it's okay. But if they say, oh, you have to arrive and then hook up your internet. And just rent a pocket Wi-Fi and then return it when you're done with it. And you might love having it. I love having it at school. Because um, unless your school, I don't know anybody's school that has Wi-Fi at your school. Schools don't have Wi-Fi unless it's the managed Wi-Fi. And if you put your device on the managed Wi-Fi, it's no longer your device. So um, if you want to have Wi-Fi at school, you either have to have the data plan on your phone or you can have the pocket Wi-Fi. And the nice thing about the pocket Wi-Fi is you can connect up to like, depending on your pocket Wi-Fi, 10 or 14 devices on it. Some only take five, I guess. But um, yeah, so then you can take like your netbook to school and put it on your desk. And connect it to your pocket Wi-Fi. Like, man, pocket Wi-Fi is the way to go. If you don't use, like, a lot of streaming services, maybe just get a pocket Wi-Fi instead of internet in your house. I don't know. Um, but it's great stuff. So I can't stress it more. Um, but, yeah. If you don't think you'll have internet when you get here and you have to have internet. I had to have it, like, for my classes. Um, but if you just need the internet, rent yourself a pocket Wi-Fi, get it delivered to yourself at the hotel when you get here. And then bring that mailer with you wherever you go and send it back when you're done and order another one if you want it. But it's totally worth it. All right. Uh, everybody have a good day. And I'll talk with you tomorrow. Enjoy your day and enjoy your coffee. Man, <sighs> my brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I could at least think. <laughs>